This is a uh, 1920s minor self-rescuer. Okay. Just so you know what kind of a nerd I am, I actually went to a coal museum once. <laughs> well, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop to see if I can sell my 1920s MSA self-rescuer. I got a flea market for five bucks, so hopefully it makes me some money. I'm looking to get a thousand dollars for it. I've got a four-month-old daughter, so if I sell it, it'll go to her savings account. Pretty cool. Do you know much about this? Um, only thing I know is that miners used it. They would hang it on the side of their belt. And in case of a mine collapse, that's really the only thing they would rely on as far as breeding and safety. Yeah, so really simple 1920 technology. It was a mask you wore that converted carbon monoxide, which is really poisonous, to carbon dioxide. There's like a chemical pack there, and that's why it's sealed up like this. This was breakthrough stuff, I mean, because guys used to drop dead from carbon monoxide poisoning. With this thing, it'd give you an extra half hour, hour in the mine if there was a collapse. That's it? That's it. It's just an incredibly dangerous job. There was a lot of mine accidents. Um, no, I'm talking bad mine accidents. Right after these big accidents, the federal government came along and they started requiring safety equipment in mines. This company, Mine Safety Appliances, they started making equipment and they actually went to Thomas Edison to help him out with these inventions for mine safety. And uh, this was one of the very first things they came out with. Okay. Grip rubber tips firmly between teeth. Close nose with spring clip. Breathe only through self-rescuer. Go to fresh air quickly. Pretty plain and simple. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you looking to get out of this? Well, I'm looking to get a thousand. Um, no. <laughs> the thing is, I wasn't able to find one like it anywhere. Okay, these things aren't rare. I've seen them before in some pawn shops back okay. east. Um, didn't buy them. Big mistake, Rick. I don't believe they're that rare at all. Okay. Uh, just do the fact was you worked in a coal mine in the United States, one of these things was on your belt, which is probably hundreds of thousands of people over the years. Okay. I'd give you 40 bucks for it. I can guarantee you they don't go for more than that. Can't do 40, I'm sorry. No. Uh, how about 500? No. These things are very, very common. I have never one. Every... Have you lived in coal country? No. Okay. okay, that's why you haven't seen one. How about 400? No, I'll give you 40 bucks. Can do 40. Um, guess no deal then. No deal, man. All right, have a nice day, man. You too. This is pretty cool, though. It is. I definitely thought I found a one of a kind item, but I'm going to save the self rescue for my daughter, and maybe one day when she grows up, it'll be worth a lot more money. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.